In this video, we're gonna show you five awesome drills to jump your dirt bike. What's up guys, Tyler Livesey. We're at the MX Factory, our home. These are just drills to make you awesome at jumping. If you're interested in the techniques, check the description below. We have a jumping video there to hook you up. Balance body work, being in motion with the power. What you're gonna do is take two cones to give you a point of reference of when to get on the power and when to ease off the power. But what you're after here is at the first cone, when you turn the throttle, that your body leans into that power. What that's gonna simulate is when you're going up a jump face, being in balance with the power that's being delivered to help you jump more level. A good timeline on this would be maybe an hour's worth of strategic work just going cone to cone, and then you move that to the jump. Throttle delivery and being in balance going off the actual face of the jump. We've spent our time working on the ground, we're moving to the jump. And in order to do this smoothly, you've gotta be really smooth with your throttle, also being in the right body position. What you're gonna do is take two cones, just like we worked on the ground. You're gonna set one up about 10 to 15 feet before the face of the jump, depending on how long the jump is and depending on how tall the jump is. And you're gonna hit the gas, the first cone, and all you're gonna think about is being in the right spot, leg squeeze, in balance, but holding the throttle steady all the way through the face of the jump. When your back tire leaves the face of the jump, you'll then come off the throttle. I would spend at least an hour to two hours. If you can spend more, it wouldn't hurt on this drill. Learning how to case a jump or over jump a jump. We're gonna find a spot on the track where we're landing on the flat ground. We're gonna do it one time and one time only where there's knees off the bike, so not squeezing the bike, just so we can feel the difference. And then we're gonna put a couple hours in just jumping out, landing with your back tire or front tire first, but not both at the same time, with your legs squeezed really tight. What we're after here is to get you to where you're using your legs as a third suspension. So what happens is if you case a big jump and you're not using those legs, a lot of the times your suspension can't hold up to, you know, the force that's coming back at you. So if you can use your strength of your legs to control that force, a lot of times you can save, you know, a crash and or losing time in a race. Now that we've worked on jumping out, controlling the bike with our legs, we can put ourselves in a more vulnerable position with jumping and landing on the landing of a tabletop or you know a really, really mellow double with the front tire down first and then with the back tire down first. The reason for this is because there will be scenarios where if you put the front tire down first, that it will be less of a blow, right? Front suspension, back suspension, legs or vice versa, if you over jump a jump, nine times out of 10, it's nice to land with a back tire first, back tire, legs, front end. So that's how it's gonna help you take the landing and not be so aggressive with it. Sorry about the plane, there's a plane up there. This is a drill that's gonna keep you safe in a situation where you don't necessarily wanna be, but it's inevitable that you'll end up there. And so if you spend some time on this, it makes those scary times a little less scary and more controllable. What we like to do here is jump the jump, turn the wheel one way, say 10 to 20 times. So maybe you're uncomfortable way because we all have our way that's comfortable, but just force yourself to turn your wheel that way and get comfortable moving in a direction that you wouldn't normally and then go the other way. And another thing you could do is jump a little high wheel, push your front end down a little. Just be fluent. Also, jump 15 or 20 times, seeing if you can take a full breath in the air. Just to relax your body, because the more relaxed you are with your upper body, and the tighter you are with your lower body, the more controlled your landing is going to be 9 times out of 10. Bonus drill. What we like to do here, especially with our younger guys that are just kind of getting into jumping, they have a lot of fun doing this, is when you're comfortable and you've spent enough time on the previous drills, Jump the jump and just start to take your hand off. That doesn't mean right away you have to stick it behind you. That means you can just 
literally take it off the handlebar, put it on the handlebar, and then start hinching your way a little farther and farther until you're up here. And then once you're up here, you're close to pulling a tear off, so maybe get a tear off and think about pulling a tear off. Throw it in the dirt. Don't leave it there because that's littering. We don't like the litter. Get your tear off and take it to the garbage. Just do it! And then practice it some more. It'll be real fun. Always start with your non-throttle hand, meaning your clutch hand. Okay, that gives you control here. For some reason, you don't get your hand back on the handlebar. You at least have control of the bike, whether you need to go, get out of the way, or get to the next jump to get your hand back on. All right, guys, you got about 40 hours of drills to do. There's a lot of work to do. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, there's more videos over here you can watch. Check out our Instagram down here. We're doing daily videos and daily awesome stuff. And also, please subscribe. We'd love you for it. Peace. We're going to give you five drills to jump this sun gun.